Hey, I bought this motherboard for my 2700X and I couldn't be happier. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you've been here, my name is Scott and I just built my first gaming PC slash editing rig last week and I thought I would show you um, the motherboard and how I personally overclocked my Ryzen 2700X. Not a guide, but I'm just showing you how I did it. So after you, you built your rig, you downloaded all your drivers and all your Windows update and all that, go back to your BIOS. This is the first thing I would do. I would go straight to advanced mode. I would go to the AI tweaker. I would go to enable your XMP or the DOCP in this BIOS. And you can see that's the correct, that's a correct one, 3200 on my two by 16 RAM sticks. So that's the first thing I would do. The next thing I would do, if you're not an expert or you don't have the knowledge or skill set, which I don't, as far as overclocking it, is you go back to the easy mode right here, okay? And you see in the top right here, it says normal. This is all I did. I, I switched it over to ASUS optimal. You didn't have to configure any of the voltage or any of that stuff. Everything's just automatic. And then what I also did is I went to my fan control. I have a, a very aggressive fan curve. Um, right here, it's been set to default. So I'm going to go ahead and manually do it. I pumped it up to about 65. And then I kind of did like that, boom. And then my other, I have four fans in this case. I just set each one for full speed because I want a cool, cool case. So those are my settings. Uh, whatever your preference is, you're good to go. So then I exit that. So now, You've done three things. You've done your RAM, you've done your fan, and then you did this easy tuning to ASUS Optimal for performance. We're just gonna save and exit. It tells you what you've done here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. It's gonna reboot. I'm gonna go back into the BIOS and make sure that it all took. So I'm smashing delete to get back into the BIOS to see all the the fans and the optimal thing that I put and the RAM have, um, have done their thing. And just like that, you look up here, you can see my RAM at 3200. You can see I've been uh, overclocked to, to a 4.0. And let's see my fans. For whatever reason, my fans didn't take. So I'm going to go ahead and reset whoops i'm going to go ahead and reset that i wanted that to 65 right there kind of like that hit apply double check my fans okay those are 100 escape so again i went from 3.7 to 4.0 and i didn't have to fiddle with everything so let me go ahead and save and exit and again it tells you what you've done here hit okay Alrighty, we are booted to the desktop. Let's go ahead and look at uh, the Ryzen Master program here. But there it is, you can see 4.0. So the base clock 3.7, we're now at 4.0. All we had to do was set that ASUS optimal and boom, everything else is on automatic and you're automatically overclock. This is the setting I am using um, and it works just fine for me, for my video editing, for my gaming, just for at my daily use. I never stress uh, the CPU, or I haven't yet, you know, above 70 degrees, except on stress testing. But anyway, if you use the Ryzen Master software, you, you see this voltage here at 1.21, that seemed really low. So I went ahead and installed the CPU ID, or the CPU Z, And you can see the voltage, according to Ryzen Master is 1.21, but here it's 1.330. So 
So I'm erring on the side of caution. I'm using this, the 1.31, and I have compared this to the, the actual BIOS motherboard voltage. It's, it's the same. So for whatever reason, on the Ryzen Master, uh, it's a, a misreading. So I'm pretty sure the Ryzen Master voltage is wrong, unless I'm somehow reading it. Again, I'm not an expert on it, but I'm going with the, the CPU ID numbers here. 4.0, you know, at 1.33 volts. So that's how I easily overclocked uh, my Ryzen 2700X. But also in the, the, going back to Ryzen Master, you know, I have played with overclocking. So I have these two profiles here. Profile one, I have bumped it up to 4100 here using the 1.28 voltage here. So 1.28 volts. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. But if you bring up again the CPU ID, you can see the 1.28 volts, but it's actually about 1.4, 1.39. And from what I've read uh, on the internet, on multiple you know, discussion boards, is that AMD recommends not to go over 1.4 volts and real life world users say it's okay to go up to 1.45 so you know take a little bit of caution with that i'm using cpu z voltage so i'm just a hair under 1.4 volts at 4.1 right down here and i have uh, done the stress test on this uh, for about 30 minutes, it gets right up to about 79, 80 degrees after about half an hour and just it just hovers there with the stock cooler. So for me, if I really wanted to run at 4.1, I could, but I just, I just don't have the, the use for it, but I did want to see if I can do it. But I didn't stop there either. Uh, let me go back to the Ryzen Master. If I go to my this profile here, it's a, I'm going to apply it. I'm at 4.2 at 1.35 volts according to Ryzen Master. But I want to double check it with CPU ID. So let's do that. And you can see there I am at 4.2. I'm at 1.45 volts. Uh, is it stable? For what I'm doing, it probably would run stable because I'm not pushing the CPU to 99 or 100 percent for hours on hours you know I could play my game for an hour and I should be fine or my light video editing but even when I do my light video editing it only goes to about you know 60 degrees 61 62 degrees editing 4k video which I, I don't do that much most of my video editing is at a uh, 1080p 60 frames a second and this processor just does just fine. So those are my three settings. My daily driver is, uh, I'm overclocked to 4.0. Uh, I, I know I can be stable at 4.1 with my stock cooler. And then if I needed to, I can go to 4.2 for a little bit, but um, I don't want to chance it in case uh, I don't want to burn up my PC because it's only a week old. I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and if you learned something, you know, please drop a like or subscribe, whatever, or leave me a comment. Uh, again, I'm not an expert. I'm barely a novice. If you have any tips for me, please leave them in comments, but be nice to me, okay, folks? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.